and welcome back to Claire Academy. Today, we will talk about a subject that a branch of mathematics actually called logarithms. Some of you may have heard logarithms but have not known what a logarithm is today. So, well, today we will talk about two questions. What is logarithms anyway? And what are their properties? So, what is log? So we'll start with that question. Well, log, say, let's take an example. Log base 5 of 10. Now, what is that? We don't know. Well, log just says, log to that, set so this equals x, and then log says that take that exponent, I mean, take the base, sorry. Take the base, turn it into a number, take the x and make it exponent, and take that, and set it equal to 5 to the power of x. And so here we have 5 to the power of x was equal to 10. And another one. Wait, but, yeah. But first, let's see. When, it, well, when the thing says log 11, say, the base, the natural, when they don't say, um, when they don't say, when they don't have a base here, that implies that the natural, it's the, it's a logarithm of 11, which is the natural base 10. That's what it means. And so, you set it equal to x, and 10 to the power of x is equal to 11. Then we find that out. Okay, so now, what we're going to do, we oh, before we do that, we're just going to not identify another type of log, because it's called logarithm naturalis in the power of a ln. Now, say ln of 5, well, log, log, logarithm naturali, that means natural to the base e. It means log to the base e. So, the um, logarithm naturali of 5 is log base e of 5 equals x, and so e to the power of x is equal to 5. <coughs> Sorry. And so now we're going to deal with what are the properties of a log. Well, we're going to prove some of the log properties today. And so let's start with our first property. Our first property is log, log well, let's say log a, log a times b. Well, today we're going to prove that log Sorry, log a, b is just equal to log a plus log b. Now, that may seem a little tricky. This is our first property. It's called the addition property. And so how we're going to solve it, we're just going to let log a, let log a equal x. And let log b equal y. So what we're going to do then, we're just going to say, well, since we learned over there what log is, we're just going to turn it into the same form, which is this, we know this, say, log here, we're going to space 10, since they don't imply it. This is natural, so we have 10 to the power of x is equal to a. And over here, we have... 10 to the power of y is equal to b. Now, when all proving, when proving the um, proving these properties, we always have to remember that we have to change into ex we have we have to basically change an exponent and turn it into another one. Then we can solve it. Okay. Now, since we've identified 10 to the power of x is equal to a and b to the power of, I mean sorry 10 to the power of y is equal to b. We're going to say here, therefore, AB, AB, yes, is equal to 10 to the power of X times 10 to the power of Y. Since 10, A equals 10 to the power of X and B equals 10 to the power of Y. Now, using our exponent, exponent rules, we can turn this into 10 to the power of X plus Y. And so now, that is equal to 10x plus y. And so now we take the logs of both sides. And we get log of ab, sorry, 
log of a b is just equal to 10 to the power of x plus y, which is log log 10 to the power of, of log 10 to the power of x plus y. And since we told you before that logs are the inverse of exponents, then this these inverses cancel out, and then we get log of a b is equal to x plus y. And what is x plus y? Well, we just solved it there. x plus y is equal to log a plus log b. So therefore, log of a b is equal to log a plus log b. There, we've just solved it. And success box. Now, we have also, we have more properties to go. Our second property, our second property is the one with here. Let's move it over here. Second property states to us that log c of d, I'm sorry, log c over d, which is c on d, c divided by d, is equal to log c minus log d. Now, as I move this closer, okay, we're going to work here, let's say, look, log c, we have to show now that log c on d um, is equal to log c minus log d. Now, we're going to do the exact least we're going to do the exact same way over here that we did over there by letting log, we're going to let log C equal maybe alpha and let log D equal beta. So, we're going to do the exact same thing up there. And can you guess, we're just going to say that then. This is equal to 10 to the power of alpha is equal to C. Therefore, here that 10 to the power of beta is equal to D. Now, since we've identified those things, we're now we're just going to let, okay, we already let, and so we're now going to say, therefore, C on D is equal to, therefore, C on D is equal to 10 alpha on 10 beta. This may look a bit small, but that's the alpha up there, 10 to the power of alpha and 10 to the power of beta. Now, we're going to see that, wait, now, again, our division exponent rules tells us that the, when exponent, same bases, same, um, same numbers, and the same exponents up top, I mean, not same exponents, different exponents, but same numbers, we're going to subtract those, so it's going to, so 10 alpha and 10 beta is equal to 10 to the power of alpha minus beta up there. And so, now we're going to do, let's see, as before, we noticed that we're just going to take the logs, and it's going to make it easy because then we can get rid of the 10. So, log C on D is equal to log 10 alpha minus beta. Now, as before, logs and exponents cancel out, so, therefore, log C on D is equal to alpha minus beta. Now, what is alpha and beta? Well, alpha and beta is log, alpha is log C, and beta is log of D, so now we just, we just proved that, therefore, log C on D is equal to log C, Minus log D. These are our these are our properties. We still have one more and a couple more to do and let's just for realize. Now we can these are not just for the exact same numbers. You can plug in other numbers. That's what our property is. For example, see we have a problem that says log of eight on ten. Now that might be hard because like eight on ten, eight ten. What, what are we going to do that? So we just, we just use a formula plugin for log 8 minus log 10. And then we can easily find that out by finding log base 10 of 8 and log base 10 of 10, which is 1. So it's log base 10 of 8 minus 1. Okay, now we have a pretty 
special formula, we might be wondering why, like, what happened, how can we solve something? How can we solve something if we, ha we have a different base, like if we have, like, up here a log base 5 or 10, or then how do we, we base, like, log base 3 or 8? Now, how we, how do we figure out how, how, how do we, uh, figure out, out log base three of eight. Well, instead of just saying that log three to the power of x is equal to eight, we can definitely solve that. But there's a easier or might you preference this way. It's called the change of base formula. <coughs> the change of base formula. The change of the change of base formula. Sorry. Well, this uh, video is getting a bit too large, so we'll just We'll just do the change of base formula, and the formula that says that, um, sorry, the formula says that log 5 to the power of 10. And how you figure that out, we'll, do, we'll figure out those formulas on part 2. Thank you for listening, and please go to um, part 2, Calero Academy, for this, for the next section. Thank you, and please.